Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this very soft and delicate pink um, makeup look. So just follow along if you'd like to learn how to do this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to use is Fresco Rose Paint Pot. Instead of my usual painterly, I'm using this metallic pink just so the pink eyeshadow is going to just stand out a little bit more. So I'm applying this from my lash line to my crease. Right, and I'm going to be taking Girly, which is a medium pink. And this is a satin, I believe, so it's not really that frosty. I'm taking that with a 224 brush and I'm just applying this in the crease. I'm just sweeping it back and forth. And then whatever I have left, I'm just blending it out. So once again, just follow the shape of your eye. And then blend out whatever you have left. Alright, and now for the lid, I'm going to be applying pink opal pigment with a 252 brush. This time I'm going to wet my 252 brush with some Fix Plus spray. It's going to give pink opal a more metallic look. Make sure you blend it out before it dries. Just keep spreading it out. So that way it dries evenly. And just go back with Girly and blend around it. I'm going to go in with um, some Cori, and this is a soft plum brown. I'm taking that with the same brush, and I'm just going to apply this in the center of my crease. And just right above where my iris is, I'm just going to give it a little bit of depth right there. And for my highlight, I'm going to be applying some Orb. I'm going to take that with my 252. I'm applying that right underneath my brow. This is also going to help blend that pink color. And now I'm going to take some opal pigment again and apply that right on top of the orb just to give it a little bit of a sheen. But I'm only going to dust it over it. And I'm also going to apply this color in the inner corner of my eye. Just to make it stand out a little more. I'm going to apply some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and applied some white eyeliner. And now, um, before I apply mascara on the bottom, I'm going to apply some Girly with a 228 shader brush underneath my lashes. And just go all the way in. And that's also going to help blend out any white eyeliner that got on your lashes before you apply your mascara. And I'm also going to take some Quarry and just apply it in the center just to mimic the crease. And it's just going to help frame the eye a little more. All right. And now just apply mascara on the bottom. Alright, now I'm just going to apply some under eye concealer. I'm using um, Max Select Cover Up, and I just and I just blended NW20 and NW25 together. So I'm just applying it with my ring finger, and then blending it out with my middle finger. And that way it'll get blended evenly. I'm going to apply some Mineralite Skin Finish in Light Medium as my foundation. And I'm using a 134 paddle brush. All 
Alright, and for my blush, I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm first using Breath of Plum Blush to contour a little bit of my cheeks. I'm also going to bring it around my temple area. And I'm going to go in with a different blush. And this is called Full Fuchsia. And it's really bright, so I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Honestly, barely need to tap it because it's very pigmented. So I'm just going to tap it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going in with some pink opal again as my highlight. And I'm just applying it right at the tops of the cheekbones. I'm just blending it in with my highlight. my lips I'm just going to be using this lip glass from MAC called Icecape and I believe this came out with a Lovelace collection. This just has the same kind of blue pink um, pearlescence to it. It's going to go nicely with the eyeshadow. Alright guys that's it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to make you a video, anything you'd like to learn how to do and um, I'll be able to put it up for you. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!